I'm, uh, I'm driving home, and uh, I'm not driving home, I'm driving to the farm. Um, I'm in New Jersey. But, uh, and yeah, I got a headlight out, and that's why one side's bright and one side's not. But last night, I was at my mother's, and she's glued to Fox News, watching the uh, impeachment hearings. And uh, one of the news blurbs that they had was some online poll showed up that shows, you know, the, the Democrat field, you know, the top three or four of them um, are all beating Donald Trump in, uh, if the election was held today. And I thought about it, and it's kind of interesting because Donald Trump's packing stadiums you know, 100,000 people are showing up and there's, you know, 10,000 people out in the parking lot watching on jumbotrons and shit. And then you got, like, Bernie Sanders, who's lucky to get, you know, a couple hundred in a, uh, in a high school, you know, auditorium. And I started thinking about it. I'm probably part of the reason why online polls are showing that you know, Bernie Sanders and, and whoever are doing so great because uh, I see, you know, take the survey and I skip it. And I'm sure that a lot of other people skip it because we don't really have a, hell, a whole lot of time on our hands to, uh, to deal with that stuff. Um, so today, like, you know, driving from, from the job site back to, you know, to the farm where I'm going right now, um, the survey keeps po you know surveys keep popping up. You know how's the president doing? Would you vote for the president? You know all this, all this stuff. And I've been stopping and taking all the surveys because uh, somebody with no job, no life, no nothing except a burning hatred for Donald Trump is going to sit there and take the surveys all day long, over and over again. And that's how Bernie's beating Donald Trump on online surveys. So, message is, you see the survey, take the survey, try to get the uh, try to get the numbers a little bit more in line. Because there's no way that Trump is doing lousy if he's uh, you know if he's drawing a hundred thousand people and the next runner-up is drawing a few hundred that's you know the, the surveys are wrong and uh and whether you like trump or you don't like trump um however you like you know do it but the uh the fact of the matter is you know it, it just for the sake of the stability in this country stuff like that has to be done because when Trump's numbers are lousy and they've got this this insanity that they're calling an impeachment, you know, with third-hand witnesses who heard it from their sister's cousin's boyfriend, and that's the star witness, you know, people are getting really divided, you know, and then somebody who's on the fence as well, you know, nobody likes Trump anymore, so, you know, maybe whatever. You know, no, let people know who you like. Take the damn surveys. Um, you know, that, that's my message. You know, let people know that, yeah, he, he does still have a lot of support. Um, his job, whether you like him as a person or not, his job performance is not bad. It is pretty good. When it comes to gun control, he's the deal maker. You know, he, I have no faith that he's going to, you know, never ban any guns or sign any, any uh, anti gun bills. Because he's a deal maker, and if they come to a deal, he'll sign it. But as far as the economy and trade and strengthening our military, getting our troops out of the Middle East, I think he's doing an okay job. So for that reason, I support him. Um, and for that reason, when the stupid survey questions pop up, um, I'm going to take the survey. But that's it. Y'all have a good night.